Well, that's the Fidelity CB3000 base station finished with a new mic lead, original mic. Right, we'll flick around the channel. I'll just go through some of the things it's got. Nice big meter for a start. Biggest loudspeaker of any CB I'm ever aware of. On a volume squelch tone. SWR meter calibrate because it's got a built in SWR meter and RF gain. And on the switches, calibrate for the SWR, reflected for the SWR, that switches to the normal power or signal meter. Instead of going to channel 9, like most sets with a channel 9 switch, the di display extinguishes and that LED comes up instead. Then you've got public address facility and you've got headphones facility, so it will mute the internal speaker and go through to the headphone socket which is at the side. At the back you've got an extension speaker socket and you've got public address speaker socket and even more useful you've got a tape recorder socket and that's quite an unusual feature. At the back you've got the 10 decibel attenuator switch to knock the power from 4 watts to 0.4 watts uh, or in this radio's case 3.5 watts to 0.35 and then you've got the, the uh, usual antenna connector. So we'll drop the squelch and we'll run through the channels. And so we're 35 miles from the nearest city. Uh, it's much appreciated, mate. It's, it's going to make my sound, make me sound a lot better on fire when I go on the old uh, other side chip. Nice big display as well. I suppose we've got to try the one nine for a Roger. It's never worked yet. One nine for a Roger. One of these days uh, there'll be somebody within uh, about 20 miles who, who will uh, pick that up. When these were new in 1981, 1982, they were deemed to be the worst base station on the market from a point that the receivers aren't that selective. As you know these are made by the Taiwan company, company Great and as were the Fidelity 1000 and also one or two of the other great products came in various guises such as the Comtel GT858 and the Comtel GT868 to name but one and they all suffered from this problem that the receivers were quite poor for being uh, in, unselective so when people were in the days of every other house on the street having a CB radio then these sets weren't that good However, now there aren't those number of users on, the, sen the receiver certainly is sensitive and the fact that they're not that selective doesn't really matter because there aren't that many users. So nowadays I think these are, are great fun, always were stylish. And there you have it, the Fidelity 3000, we'll just run through those channels once again, just see if there's anybody there. I think they're still rabbiting on 25. SSB interference. There you go. Hope you've uh, learnt something from the Fidelity 3000.